you just pick up a weapon? It's got a shovel. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Alright, welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to Urge. We are at the outpost in Paracolvin. We had a geyser eruption on the last episode, and it was not this geyser. It was the original geyser. So I ran around trying to find it like a freaking dumbass for a while. And uh, by the time I determined that it was definitely the original geyser, it was already pretty much done. <laughs> But the, the tenting that was over that worked and did not raise the fog level at all. So I spent the rest of the day on the last episode uh, finishing up looting Paracolvin. Look at this fucking fish. And after that, did a little bit of work around the base. I built a couple rain catchers because I don't think there's any fresh water in this area. At least I haven't seen anything yet. And today, I'm going to loot this big bastard. That could take the whole day. Nasty. It's a year shark. Oh, look at that thing. I mean, I wasn't really planning on going in that water, but I'm definitely not going in it now. I think, actually, these fish... Those might be uh, like the piranhas that were attacking me in the sh in the sewer when I went down into the tunnels a while ago. So yeah, stay out of the water, people. Inventory's almost full. I'm just gonna run back to base, drop this stuff off. <laughs> Chill the fuck out, possum. He's pissed at that other possum for some reason. He's freaking yelling at him. gonna cook these two bug meats quickly before they spoil. I want to take uh, batteries. If I end up going down inside the hull of that ship, it's gonna be dark in there. Looks like I can go up over there or over here.
Man, I don't think I can get up. Oh, I fucking got hurt. Come on. <laughs> shells. I'm doing good on shells. I mean, I have to bust out that crazy like three barrel shotgun thing. It's back at the uh, my main base, but I'll bring the shells back there with me when I head back at some point. I don't really have a, a definite plan of how long I'm going to stay in this area. I might head back the next episode, we'll see. Alright, this is like the bridge. this. Wait, let's look on the map here. So I think that is the three islands that I saw on the map that is to the southeast of me. Basically right almost straight east of me. And this other stuff is looking towards the the northeast little chain of islands heading east towards what's probably Hazerville This way. I was hoping I'd be able to get up onto these containers from like up in the bridge there, but I didn't see any way to get through that. Maybe it's up here. Oh yeah. Here we go. that chainsaw oh shit and I had some gas oh man it's got gas in it all right I'm not using it right now I'm not gonna waste it I do have some gas though back at the outpost here we go and uh I was wanting to save that. Oh shit, can I go through here? Yeah, I can't go there. I was wanting to save the gas that I have for that car, 
that I found over by the, uh... Oh, don't fucking fall off, dude. <laughs> that would suck. Ah, uh, here we go. Alright, sorry, I need to pay attention and finish my sentence. The gas that I have at base, I was saving to take over to the car that I found and try to get that car out of that, uh, that little canyon it was in. I'm unsure if I want to use much of that with the chainsaw. Now what's a bummer about this whole situation is I think that the that the gas that I have it will it will probably use all of it when I fill up that car and if I can't get the car out of that that canyon then I'm freaking out of luck so we'll see that's gonna be something I'm gonna do soon I think I think this is uh, everything as far as this ship goes there may be some more in there I don't know if I could build a ladder and get up that possibly but there might not be anything up there anyways All right, head back, stash this stuff. I may go check out that drainage tunnel that I saw at the other end of town. That's about the only other noteworthy thing I can think of in this area, other than like all that marshland. I almost guarantee that there is uh, some hidden stuff there. So what I may do, oh shit, what I may do is uh, make my way back towards the old base on the next episode and explore some of that marshland on the way. So I'm going to the tunnel. Actually, gonna make a couple of Molotovs. Take a little food. And I definitely want some batteries. Oh, there's one of those nasty things. Nasty shark. It's a nose shark. Alright, this already has water. So I don't like it. Alright, it's drying up. Never mind, we're good. sharks or piranhas in this water? Possibly. <laughs> Oh, 
walk off. Get away, you nasty bastard. Yeah. There we go. Bastard had a shovel. Can I take it? Nope. Alright, well that's a first. <laughs> I've never seen uh, one of those things have a weapon before. You know, I wonder... Damn, I don't have any uh, bottles. I wonder if this is... It's probably still salt water, I guess. Or actually, it looks like it might be like Urlid. Whoa! Oh, this bitch is picking up a shovel, too. I think. This one's got a knife, I think. Ah. Fuck, you're swinging at me, dude. Oh, a bone. You're trying to beat me to death with a bone. That's some fucking caveman shit. in the water. I see something else. I think that might be a gas mask chainsaw guy. Let's see if I can creep and not alert him. Yeah, it's definitely a gas mask chainsaw guy. He's waving at me. He sees me. Damn, I should have brought my chainsaw. We could have had a chainsaw fight. I have a feeling that that wouldn't go good for me. a lot of arrows up. <laughs> what the hell is that? Is that what I think it is? <laughs> That's a hovercraft. Holy shit. Will that go through the tunnel, I wonder? No freaking way. No freaking way. Holy shit, how cool is that? Did not think there was uh, bolts. I gotta go back here and it looked like there was some loot back here. So I gotta check this out before I take that. Actually, I should've just drove that over here. Got it. I'm stupid. But actually, it might not have gas in it. Very much not worth it. Okay, no fuel. But I did see where the fuel is.
Alright, well. <gasps> that's pretty freaking awesome. And that's less distance I'll have to go when I come back with actual fuel. I do have gas. I should just go freaking get it. There's another piranha. Yeah, there are piranhas in here. I didn't see any on the way in. They're all over the freaking place now. So I've got the gas. I'm heading back. I'm going to try to get that boat and bring it over here and I'll dock it right there if I can. We got 500 fuel. Hopefully that is like a full tank. That's the first gasoline or fuel I've seen in the game. Now I know that you can make like a, a biofuel and I think I need the urid purifier to do that. I also need a storage tank and I have not seen any storage tanks since the last uh, one that I broke down and picked up and put in the base and then accidentally destroyed while I was trying to move it. I tried to break it down again and it just disappeared. And that as far as I know, that's the only way that you can make one of those. If you look at the item in the build menu, it just says that you need like a, a liquid container as the ingredient. That's basically what it is, it's a liquid container. So I need to find one in the world somewhere. I'm glad I didn't change that battery out right when it first started flickering. Because it's actually lasted quite a while since then. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Oh, fuck that. I'm hoping that the piranhas can't get to me. Oh. <laughs> I'm not taking a chance getting close to that damn thing. I don't even think I'm hurting it. Things wicked looking. It's freaking nasty. Oh, I got it. What was that? I got nothing. It looked like there was something to pick up. Yeah. Filled it up. I think it's going to be a slow drive. it over just a little bit. Come on, man.
putting out shitloads of fog. Almost out of fuel. Oh no. Yeah, I think I was putting out a bunch of fog. Alright, well I got the boat out, but that that 500 gasoline did not last long at all. The thing's almost empty. I don't, I'm pretty sure I don't have nearly enough to get even back over close to my base. So I'm going to leave it there for now. I need to figure out how to make my own biofuel. I'm definitely excited though about the possibilities <laughs> of having a boat. And even just cars. I think that's my, my main focus now is to figure out fuel. Oh, look at this urometer, urometer. I mean, it might be up a little bit, but not bad. I was worried that that boat was putting out like a bunch of it. That's where I'm going to call it for this episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon.